Today, we talk about... <laughs> two-way. Three-way trigger. All right, so now I have broken down both of these as part of the two-way pack. Hey, yo. And we'll get into the details and the uh, specifics, but first, uh, there you go. I got two of these. This in my main size, the 11. And just to give you all a closer look, here we got the Kawhi Omni Ones, a.k.a. OMN1S. Uh, OMN1PF player feature. I still don't know. It's a basketball sneaker. Uh, we talked about this not at length because there's not a lot to say. Uh, but it is uh, what it is. New Balance logo. Uh, they're still working out the whole uh, Kawhi lawsuit ish. There's the current logo, the K2, aka Kawhi Leonard, with the number two. Uh, same thing on the insole there. And then uh, the big N on the side with the faux alligator croc skin, the Don Sao Paul's Namain. And I uh, really love this colorway. Uh, this was the debut colorway, a.k.a., uh, if not the debut colorway, at the very least, the colorway that he was wearing and the model he was wearing when he hit his version of the shot, a.k.a. Uh, game seven buzzer beater. I believe the first ever buzzer beater in a game seven in the playoffs ever, I believe, against uh, the Philadelphia 7-6s. A.I. Trigger. Am I right? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know if you give a boo. So anyway, we got that model. And then we got the second part of the pack. Bop. Got them. Uh, this is the 997S, a.k.a. 997 Sport, I believe. Here we get the faux ostrich leather. Some more crack skin type-ish, sort of. Uh, you get that sporty-ish look. Again, more faux ostrich. The absorb cushioning that New Balance is known for. And here's the outsole with the motion control device. Hey, yo. Uh, so, yeah, still that stock. Uh, just went on a rant about StockX over these issues. But that's neither here nor there. Good looking mesh. I ain't going to lie to you. Again, with the K2 logos all over the ish. And uh, just to give y'all a quick look at the size tag right quick. 997S Kawhi, Kawhi maybe? Instead of KO, Kawhi Leonard? I don't know, but this is a lifestyle model, B. Huh, I just noticed these came with these uh, fancy looking uh, flat laces, which I think I'm just going to keep the uh, the blacks in there. I think it completes the look a lot better than these, even though these would be kind of dynamic, but it is uh, a one idea. All right, so we got the New Balance boxes right here, but let's just get into uh, the history, if I can get this to autofocus right quick. And there's not a lot to the history, I'll be honest with you, but it is what it is. And um, Kawhi's a fun guy. <laughs> That's a bad impression. Let me try again. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I need practice. Practice? Philly's triggered again. Hey, yo. Anyway, so here's a picture of Kawhi. Uh, wearing uh, the kick, and uh, yeah, looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. So he debuted these at the All Star Game, I believe, in the that original red colorway, which is the first image I saw leak actually. Uh, but around what was it, May seventh, uh, New Balance released an exclusive Kawhi pack that consists of a special edition Omni One and N um, Nine Nine Seven Sport, and that was the photo that they released for the ish. So he's doing a little baby. Um, and let's see, what do they say about this? Inspired by Kawhi's game and driven by real player data, whatever that means, uh, the Omni Ones, uh, I'm calling them the Omni Ones. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but the Omnis, I don't know. Omni One S, a uh, basketball shoe with fit weave upper technology delivers support where you need it without sacrificing breath, <laughs> breath, breathability, or a lightweight feel. And it's engineered to keep its shape game after, oh, keep its shape game after game, sorry. Shape game triggered, not shape game. Fuel cell midsole cushioning borrowed from our running shoes helps propel you forward for speed on the court. I say fuel cell like that because it's capitalized. I'll prove it to you. I don't know if you guys can appreciate it from the article. What it is, what it is. Uh, don't worry about it, I'll just read it for y'all. Uh, then they capitalized this thing again. Uh, you'll recognize it by when I go, hey! and for an enhanced fit, our seamless ultra heel technology locks you in with extra support. What is that? Interesting. Okay. The 997 Sport is a modern update to the classic 997 sneaker. And I love the 997s. Y'all know I love that. 
uh, a mix of future and throwback. This sneaker pairs the iconic collar strap of the original shoe with a sleek overall look. Signature end cap reveal and absorb midsole cushioning. Finish the shoe with supportive comfort. You can now find the latest two-way pack. It is called the two-way pack. Got them. Uh, directly on NewBalance.com, which I didn't. Uh, the retail for the Omni Ones was 140 and the 997S was 130 Go figure. We're talking $270 for the two of them. I wish I got them for that much. I got the 997S for about that much with a jacked up box, first and foremost. Uh, the Omnis, on the other hand, uh, the basketball kick. I got two pairs of them. Two per. Um, and if you didn't watch my previous unboxing video where I talked about that uh, a few days back, uh, the whole thing was I'm trying to take this foray into reselling. We'll see how it works. But anyway, um, the special thing about this was Kawhi's making moves, man. He's a fun guy. And, um, and I just think he's crushing it. And this is just a historic sneaker. They won the friggin' championship. So it just went without saying that I just had to have this. Historic, man. And I know the Warriors were injured and all that-ish. But uh, you just can't take away from what Kawhi did. Especially with, in my opinion, a lack of other superstars. Uh, Kyle Lowry has proven time and again, or disproven, that he can do it on his own. Let alone with DeMar. So what's the variable? Kawhi. Now, with that said, Siakam was kind of underrated, let me tell you. And Ibaka was a great fit. And don't get it twisted about Mark Gasol. Um, very underrated. I mean, me being biased, being a Gasol stand, not a stand, but like a Gasol fan uh, via the Lakers. But uh, hey, AD triggered, am I right? Anyway, um, yeah, so I, uh, I kind of... I kind of got gypped because I saw these when they went from that 140 price point on the Omnis at least to 400. And I was like, who's paying 400 for a pair of Kawhi's? Am I right? Kawhi not. Uh, and then of course, uh, check back in game one of the finals, which is well after he hit that historic game winner against Philly in game seven. And uh, the price shot up to a thousand. So I got these babies listed at 2000. We try to make our money back. So I want to sell one of them and keep the other one essentially for free. I paid 800 for one and a little over a thousand for the other. Whichever one sells first, a yo. Um, maybe as they start releasing more colorways and depending on where he goes in the free agent market, we'll be able to get a sale. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah. And I got to figure out how to transport these. That's going to be an issue. Uh, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to keep dragging this on. There's really not a lot more information on this shoe. Um, lucky for me, am I right? And, uh, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. That's the history. I hope you enjoyed it. There's not much else to it. And thank God, because this was a fairly simple, easy uh, video to put together. See you back in New York soon. Oh, yo, hold up. Uh, breaking news. News result beep. All right, let's stop. Uh, Toronto Raptors baller, Kawhi, baller, uh, inspires special New Balance shoe in the team's colors. So I guess be, since the championship, now this has come out along with this. So this is the new, excuse me, New Balance 990 V5s, and this is the uh, New Balance 997s. So it's straight up 997. So the one that I showed you a, earlier in the video is a 997S, a, aka 997 Sport, I believe. This one's just a straight up 997. One of the most comfortable shoes in my collection by far, and this is not a bad colorway whatsoever. Uh, this one, on the other hand, eh, the color blocking to me is a little sus. What are they, what are they? Anyway, uh, yeah, so for the champs, they uh, previewed it on Instagram and it's available for pre-order uh, tomorrow, but this was put out when, oh, two days ago. So it's already available for pre-order. Uh, maybe it's already gone, who knows? Uh, but let's see what they say here. Some of the design details include suede and mesh material on the upper of both shoes. One option comes in a predominantly purple colorway with red laces on a black midsole. Oh, okay, I see the red laces, though. The red laces, eh, it's hard to tell at that angle, but I could see that really popping, but I'm really not feeling to get black mints on these. It's a little bit too much black for me. 
what it is, what it is. Uh, the other is constructed in a color block style, including panels of red, purple, black, and variations of gray on a bone midsole. Is it bone? Huh. So I guess it's not straight up white, but hard to tell from these photos. Eh, okay, well, whatever. And then what else? What else? Uh, the Boston based brand re entered the basketball market after a years long hiatus when it signed Leonard, uh, who was formerly with Jordan. And, oh wow, more breaking news. Uh, this is hilarious. I had no idea New Balance ran with this to brand that. Dude, this is a match made in heaven. <laughs> Lemmertalia. I mean, this is fantastic. And I actually, this uh, actually reminded me of something I forgot to mention in the video, which is sort of relevant to the history of the shoe. Uh, this is bigly, not only for Kawhi, but also for uh, New Balance. Because, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time they're giving a signature sneaker to a basketball athlete let alone any athlete i want to say because i know they do a lot of heavy ba uh, baseball sponsorships and i know like matt bonner who used to be on the spurs and uh, other people were signed to new balance as athletes but didn't have their own signature model the only one that i think had a signature model and correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure it was just james worthy aka big game james um and uh, the funny story with that, and I feel like I talked about this in the past, but let me double check just real quick. Uh, new Balance. Ah, uh, yeah, I did make a video. Wow, that's a pretty decent thumbnail if I say so myself. So this was the hilarious thing, and uh, let me hover over it. Wow, this was a short and quick video. Oh, look at that, old me. Hey, yo, at the old studio. Um, but yeah, the uh, yeah, go watch this video, thanks. Uh, and there's James right there. But the interesting thing about uh, this model, this being the 740, New Balance 740 Worthy Express, um, the difference here is, uh, you know, back in these times, back in the 80s, uh, when, you know, the Showtime Lakers were going on, uh, Worthy was chosen to be their first ever endorsement deal, let alone signature sneaker, because up until then, New Balance as a brand decided that, no, we want to stand on the... Um, uh, ethics of how strong our product is. We don't want to rely on an endorsement from a celebrity or an athlete to push our product. We want our product to speak for itself. And for the longest time, they rode that bandwagon and they were constantly, obviously, falling behind, especially to the likes of Nike, Jordan, etc. So now, what the hell was that? Oh, it must have been an email. Uh, now, with that said, uh, here comes along James Worthy that they're like, you know what? This is our guy. And here's the ad, Trustworthy. And shortly after this, and I'm pretty sure I talked about this in this video if you want more details, but if I remember correctly, just shortly after, yeah, no, I definitely talked about this in the video, so go there for more details. But uh, he definitely got involved into uh, some kind of an affair or uh, or was caught with a prostitute, some, something to that effect, uh, some kind of infidelity. So no, no more could they do the whole Trustworthy campaign, obviously. So I thought that was hilarious. Like the first athlete New Balance chooses to pair with, and that's what happens. So that's hilarious. It is what it is. Sorry, New Balance. But uh, hey, you got to take some shots sometimes. Even as a hundred percent of them, you don't take. Michael Scott triggered. And now Wayne Gretzky triggered. Anyway. Um, but no, I think uh, this is great for Kawhi. I think it's a match made in heaven, like I said. And I definitely don't expect Kawhi to go down that same path. As James Worthy, I see this being a very fruitful relationship. So uh, these shoes should appreciate it. I'll talk. Especially if Kawhi stays with the Raptors. And especially if they keep busting out new colorways of the shoes. So we'll see, man. This is uh, an exciting time for New Balance, for sure. Uh, good for them. That's it. Bye. Two-way.